Hey everybody, hope you're having a good Friday. Um, I'm going to talk about the quiz that I put up yesterday on which energy system is most likely used in a 100 meter race. I'm hoping you read it as 100 meter and not 100 mile. I only had so many characters to fit into the question. But in a 100 meter race, um, you're not going for very long. So the fastest people in the world are doing it under 10 seconds. Those of us that aren't quite so fast might be in that 10 to 20 second range. So the majority of that time period or the majority of the system being used the most in that event would be the phosphocreatine system. That is the system that is utilized for usually 10 seconds or less, um, but it is kind of where you're going maximal output for short bursts of time. So the other two systems, the glycolytic system is something that's used a little bit um, for a little bit longer, maybe up to two minutes, but you can maintain 70 to 80% power for that. And then the aerobic system is used for a lot longer period of time. So the aerobic system is actually the most, um, that was the most, that was the uh, answer that was selected the most, I guess. Um, it is true that all the systems are kind of being utilized usually throughout any type of exercise. They're all kind of being utilized. There's just one that's usually more dominant. And so for short bursts, the phosphocreatine system is the most dominant and glycolytic is most dominant during that 20 seconds to two minute mark usually and aerobic anything longer than that is the dominant one. So that's your answer. Um, if you've got questions, leave them in the comments or message me directly.